What's going on, everyone? What a day. Um, here's a dollar on a 60 minute chart. And you can see that whipsaw on a, a daily chart. You can see that nasty candle right there. You can see it break that down. Bearish retrace. Now it's breaking previous lows. Uh, just watch for those reversal bars, you know. Now you can see very clearly that uh, <clears throat> that whipsaw. More like a, a breakdown, bearish retracement, and uh, extension, exhaustion. Um, and then it tried to get back up there one more time. Right, it made a, a lower high, broke down. Now uh, below the EMA eight, and you can see what's forming on the weekly, which signals maybe a lot more uh, damage is about to come about. So maybe the pump and dump is in. Not sure. We got a couple more days to uh, see what's going to happen with this, but. Um, we need a weekly close and then we need a weekly open confirmation close. So I'll give it two weeks before we know what this is going on, but there you go. That is nasty. Whipsawed and reversal bar all in one. A uh, little thrust towards the uh, top there. Let's keep this to dailies until we get closer to the weekend. So fully bearish retracement now and on a lower high with the whipsaw. Let's get this straight. There you go. See what happens with this, but it looks like another uh, bearish retracement. We do have the cross and it is very top heavy on the long term charts. I guess the monthly wouldn't help anybody, but I uh, uh, can't go longer than a month. Another paid subscription I need. <laughs> so, I mean, it's been going up and up and up. This is where. Uh, I thought that Romney was going to win. I had some options on coal. <laughs> I got swindled out of that one. Anyways, looks top heavy. Looks like a bearish retracement back into uh, resistance. Um, but you never know, you know. Uh, hyperinflation could hit. Uh, this thing could go to the moon. Who knows? But uh, right now it uh, closes as a whipsaw. Uh, it had some falling star action, but that's not uh, a full, or is it? Well, it's got a wick on the bottom, and you need two, at least two, textbook bodies to fill. Falling star action, but uh, not quite. We do have the whipsaw, though. Let's see what happens in the next four hours. Dow Jones. Same thing. Bearish retracement. We got the cross. Bearish retracement back into resistance. We'll see what happens. We've got a couple more days left for the week. But right now it looks like a hanging man. Back to uh, the daily. We got some support down here, so. Even if it wants to come down and gather its legs, who knows what's going to happen. But you can see since the election and now the rounding top crossover, uh, I would watch out below some sell-off. Uh, NASDAQ, same, 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 hasn't crossed yet. Uh, reversal bar, close below previous highs, kind of break down, breaking below previous lows, hitting support and bounced all the way back into resistance. 
Gotta love these uh, three lines in a candlestick. Shanghai, a little push, another little push. Let's see if you can reach its natural point and uh, hit resistance. We got uh, previous highs right there. So these aren't exact, but it can get close. Mm, Nikkei, surprisingly enough, watch out below, became a double top all in one day. This thing's very <laughs> volatile. I wouldn't want to day trade this at all. Oh, dang it. So it came all the way back down, stretched to the limits. You know, that rubber band stretched all the way back and it's playing all the way and made a double top. It is closing on its highs. Um, who knows? We do have a cross here and it's closing now above. So the momentum could have changed overnight. Uh, let's see. On a weekly, it looks like a breakout. But we are at a double top still. So, very surprising on that. Let's see. Uh, watch out below. Now we need a double top. So, we'll see if it opens on the up or opens on the down. And if it opens on the down, watch it carry uh, because I think that's the bearish retracement double top. Hitting resistance one more time. But if it opens up, then you've got to break out. So, see what happens. 10 year treasury. You got the cross, you got the breakdown, the bearish retracement, uh, nothing on the downside yet. Uh, and it did put in a double bottom right over the 34, so maybe it gathered its support. Um, crude, not having a good time at all. Looks like uh, having some troubles. Let's see. Let's check a look. Looks like it's coming back down in support. Looks like it's just gathering its legs. It broke out, came all the way back in, tried to do it one more time, came all the way back in. Made a new high. So it still looks bullish. It's just gathering its legs on the throwback. Uh, let's see what happened here. Coal. Coal looks like a nice little hammer right on a weekly chart forming. <clears throat> you can see that two bar reversal on the daily, which makes that hammer noticeable. Looks like a nice stair step into support, gathered its legs. The week's not over yet. But uh, that's a nice two bar pattern right off support. Had to do it. Always on a tether. Let's see if I. Okay. Gold. Gold's having a hard time trying to get that daily uh, 34 to bust. Lots of resistance going on. It's just got stuck. <clears throat> so. Um, getting across here, see what happens. Needs to uh, stay above previous highs to keep the momentum. So it might not, uh, might need a couple more uh, weeks for this thing to break out. I'm not sure yet. But it's at support. You never know what's going to happen. That is a, a very thin line downtrend. We got uh, the only thing is we got support. Um, so how do I explain that? We got that support from the previous highs, making a flat bottom, and those lines coming down, making it. Um, 
a descending triangle, right, or something like that. Anyways, when you have the flat bottoms, um, it tends to break down across them. But we'll see. It's in a pattern now. Bounced off the 8 today. Um, you can see that 34 has just, just stumped it. It broke previous highs. Could do it again. Came by, back into support. Going to gather its legs. Plus the 8 still lagging on that. So nice push into the 34. I'm thinking that this is going to come down and make an opposing point here soon. I just wish it get above the 34 and do the opposing point first. And that's the goal. But um, the more time it wastes trying to get above there, um, the less likely it's going to happen. Silver. Silver, on the other hand, looks up poised and ready. To make a, a one shot, uh, we got resistance at previous lows. 1730. And still, I'd love to get above in this area. That would be prime real estate for the next bull run. Right now, it looks good. We got a, uh, that hammer confirmation now. Uh, the week's not over, but um, looks good. Um, I thought it was doing a flat top break today, but it came back in. Making a double top, double bottom right over the 8. Uh, look for a flat top break. I mean, easy deasy. Can't miss it. Otherwise, you know. Let's see here. Yeah, it's a toss-up whether or not you know it's going to come down and to support one more time but uh, we do have that inverted hammer breaking in the previous lows next previous lows would be genius and then ultimately 1850 is the mark we need to get above 1850 for the long term um, that's the what do you call it? Pivot point or ultimate support resistant line. Whatever. So lots of work to do, but it looks good. I mean, I think the bottom's in. Just need to confirm and hit, get things moving. Good start of the year, that's for sure. No, we haven't looked at this for a while, but gold silver ratio looks like it's still trying to break out, making silver the better buy, but it's kind of really hasn't moved. Um, Copper looks like a nice churn coming up over the weekly EMA 8. Nice. Nice inverted hammer. Nice hammer. Let's get this thing rolling with the rest of them. Looks good. I think yesterday I was uh, either or on it. Uh, that could still be the bearish retracement, so watch out when it breaks previous lows. But otherwise, it's closing on its highs. We have a reversal bar across the 8, came back in, and then bounced more. So I'm thinking bullish now. Um, it's just bullish tendencies. Let's go get over that 13 and uh, 34. Get this thing running. JNUG, gonna have to call this the bare knuckle trading. But um, all night, well, I don't know about all night, but three o'clock in the morning on, it, it was trading. Uh, went all the way to above seven, 
and then when it opened it came all the way back at the previous open and then all day it consolidated and came all the way back up to where it opened and now we got this this nice reversal bar right over the 34 beautiful 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 I'm hoping it gaps and runs tomorrow um, I got this set up previous low median line uh, resistance so the 8.45, 9 o'clock. Breaking previous highs. Let's take a measured move. 3, let's call it 3.50 to 7. <clears throat> so, what is that, $3.50? $3.50 from the break. So, that's 11.50. No, 10.50. That would be nice into previous lows. Oh, I wonder how that works out. <clears throat> um, I'm bullish. I don't know. I'm sticking with it. Um, if it if it hits resistance and wants to retrace tomorrow, I'm jumping out and jumping into another one because there's a lot of a lot of things going going on. <laughs> uh, GDX. Look at that. Boom, boom, one, two, punch. Man. We got resistance at previous lows, previous lows. Right? Easy deasy. Nice. Previous lows, previous lows. Nugget. Same, same. I'm looking for a gapper tomorrow morning. I mean, let's get gold running off that top. Uh, Bitcoin. Everyone's talking about Bitcoin, right? It hit uh, resistance. And I told everyone to watch the pullback and then be ready to buy because um, I just heard some uh, funny, ironic news. And the Treasury Department responsible for all the printing is looking for a blockchain insurance. They're looking to build a blockchain for insurance. So all of a sudden, Obama was found to be uh, pulling off this uh, cashless society in India um, with a whole bunch of uh, foundations like uh, uh, Bill Gates is like one of the big ones, Ford. Uh, you can find this online. All traces back to the IMF, but then... IMF is part of the Treasury and the Federal Reserve System. All little serpent arms of uh, the same source. So what I'm guessing is they know something that we don't. And um, I don't know if you ever considered buying a few Bitcoins. I mean, watch for this pullback. I mean, it could come all the way back into previous breakout. And... Um, once it does that, I mean, we already talked about the measured move. Um, now would be just the start of it, <clears throat> which begs to figure if gold wasn't uh, strangled by all the paper contracts, I wonder how much that's going to be worth if things collapse. Just something to think about. Keep some physical at home. What I'm using here is just uh, funny money. And I'm um, having a great time, but uh, they can pull the plug at any minute, seems like. I mean, if they can do that in India, who said they wouldn't do it here? Um, everything looks good. We talked about everything. 
CLF. Let's see where we're at. Go back into previous, right? See if it'll hold. Uh, yeah, looks like a cross above there into previous lows. See if it'll hit and then come back and then try again. One, two, three. It's not always like that, but you like to see it work out. TGD, the churn over the daily chart, the one two punch coming in. Uh, there's no particular order of these stocks over here. I just put them in because I was looking at it one, at one time or another. But that's about it. I mean, watch for the flat tap breaks on all these AUIs. Closing above three, that's good. Uh, JNUG, hopefully we can get above seven. 724, hit that 12 mark. Um, hemp. I bought a small position in hemp at the um, um actually I thought I, I think I brought I bought it at the break I thought it was gonna break but it, it came all the way back in today or yesterday and then um, bounced so I expect that I expect this thing to break out but you know what this a rinky dinky little thing I wouldn't even bother with it it's me gambling again <laughs> but I bought into support basically yeah, it looks like it's going to pop. I'm going to cross here, and then the tightness of it. So it's already popped. It came back into support. So I'm waiting for, waiting for a previous high break and see, um, you know, see if I can get, you know, a double out of it. I don't know. That's another thing. I haven't seen a lot of doubles. I remember back in the day, you could catch a double, no problem. Um, doesn't make it as much fun. U-R-R-E, uranium, bam. Right? Took out that reversal bar, right? And that was your clue. Slam it down right there. It's closing on its highs at previous lows. I'm looking for a pullback. Looking for a pullback. But um, then again, I'm in JNUG, so I don't want to be I don't want to be dinged for uh, day trading. Too many rules. UEC, not much of a pullback, so maybe it's a runner after the break. Oh, it came back. Nice. Just like it should be. Look for previous high breaks. Um. Look at that. That's a stair step right into support. Consolidation bear uh, bullish retracement. Now it's forming a hammer on that daily. Nice. Look for previous candle break on the upside. Take a ride. Um, let's see. More hemp. All the way into support. This one looks primed. And the hammer break broke that hammer, came across, came in, and now it's bouncing. Look for previous high breaks. It's that flat top break across that 34. Always, always, always buy into support. Buy that flat top break. Boom. Um, and some guy calls it gibberish. <laughs> It is gibberish. <laughs> I wasn't uh, I wasn't classically trained by all the brokers. The misfits. Um, there's another one. I mean, broke outside the pattern, came back in. Let's see, TRX, kind of like that one. 
There's a lot of them. I mean, what can I say? Uh, we did an hour video on that one uh, Monday. Just go over that, see where you're at. Watch those flat top breaks on the daily charts. I mean, I have nothing else to say about it. Thanks for all your comments. I uh, appreciate all you guys. Oh, one thing I wanted to point out is um, don't rely on me to uh, give you uh, uh, intraday advice because I got like four different jobs going on. I'd like to sit here all day and watch stocks, but um, it doesn't pay my bills. At least not yet. So, um, I'm not, uh, what I'm saying is, I don't want to give out intraday advice because I can't, I can't be uh, responsible, first off. Second off, I'm not a, a trained professional. And third, I'm not reliable during the day, so uh, there's no way to know if I'm here or not. Um, so that being said, uh, we'll keep it to the daily, the weekly, and the monthly. And uh, I appreciate everybody. Uh, talk so, you can talk amongst yourselves uh, on the comments. If I'm around, I'll comment. But um, that's about it. I appreciate everyone. See ya.